in the jungle I can fly through the trees way up high I'm a one I'm a two I'm a two can so are you a two 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 can two 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 can you remember last week when I said that grumpy crampy looked a lot like my favorite superhero? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but what superhero did you say you looked like? Don't do, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh wait, wait, I can do it. What's it? Green Lantern. No. Aquaman. No. Wonder Woman? Oh yeah, right. No. Huh, I can't seem to remember what superhero you thought he looked like. Uh, boys and girls, do any of you remember what superhero Twinkle thought Grumpy Grandpa looked like? Raise your hand if you remember what superhero Twinkle thought Grumpy Grandpa looked like. Let's see. Oh, I see lots of hands. You guys have better memories than me. How about, um, uh, let's see. How about, um, uh, Everett. What superhero? Captain Underpants, is that correct? Yes. yes. Oh, that's right. You thought Grumpy Grampy looked like Captain Underpants. That's right. I think Grampy looks a lot like Captain Underpants. In fact, I was hoping today we could invite him out here. And Platty and Awesome and Bernie could sing a special song for him. You have a special song for Grumpy Grampy? What, what song is that? You'll see. Can we have Grumpy Grampy get out here? Come on, Grampy, will oh, you? Oh, okay. Boys and girls, would you help me bring him out of the count three? Say good morning, Grumpy Grampy. One, two, three. Good morning, Grumpy Grampy. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> wow. Hi, Grumpy Grampy. Oh, my gosh. It's a talking turkey again. Painted. I'm a toucan. Yeah, whatever. That's anyway, Grumpy Grampy, remember how last week I said you looked a lot like Captain Underpants? Yeah, what is a Captain Underpants? <laughs> well, Captain Underpants is my favorite superhero, and you look a lot like him. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. But my friends and I want to sing you a special song. What is that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Play the music! Tra -la -la. Stay off my grass, all of you. <laughs> Stay off my grass. Okay. Well, 
boys and girls, can we all help him? Let's tell Grumpy Grampy. We can't stay off his grass because where are we? We are inside a church. 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 We're inside a building. Oh yeah, whatever. Uh, Twinkle, I'm not sure Grumpy Grampy's really gonna fully embrace the Captain Underpants identity. Well, don't worry. He will. Hey, Pastor Dave, all that singing and dancing warmed me up to do some move-in. Do you think we could bring the fitness fanatic out here to help us move? I don't know. Last time she was here, I got really tired. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, all right. Boys and girls, raise your hands if you'd like to bring the fitness fanatic out to help us move and get all warmed up for Kentricity. How many? Oh, overwhelming response. All right. Well, on the count of three, let's bring out the fitness fanatic. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, fitness fanatic. All right. Well, uh, fitness fanatic, are you ready to uh, give us another exercise video? Not today. Today we're going to play a game called Freeze Dance. When the music plays, you dance. But when I say freeze, you have to hold whatever position you're in until I say dance again. Okay, let me get this straight. So we dance. When you say dance and the music plays, and when you say freeze, we have to freeze wherever we are? Yep. What if you jump in the air? Do you have to freeze in midair? Yep. Wow. She's strict. All right, well, you guys think you can do that? Yeah. All right, so let's stand up. All right. Just try to be safe. All right. Are you guys ready? Now you can do big dance. You can do little dance. All right. Just don't hurt yourself. All right, fitness fanatic. I think we're ready. So remember, when she says freeze, what are you going to do? Freeze. Freeze. All right, here comes the music. This isn't too bad, I can do this. got the whole world in his hands. All right, show me the world. All right, ready? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 All right, so we've got the wind and the rain. So we're gonna make some wind, so go. I hear that again? He's got the rain, go splish, splash. Ready? He's got the wind, and the rain, splish, splash. In his hands, he's got the wind, and the rain, splish, splash. In his hands, he's got the wind, and the rain, splish, splash. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mommies, and for the mommies, put your hand on your hip and go, ha ha. What are you going to say? Ha ha. <laughs> All right. And he's got the daddies. The daddies, put both hands on your hips and go, hello. Hello. What are you going to say? Hello. 
Alright, here we go. He's got the mom, he's ha, ha, and the daddy. Hello. And it stands, he's got the mom, he's ha, ha, and Hello. the daddy. Hello. And it stands, he's got the mom, he's ha, ha, and the daddy. Hello. And it stands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Now, last right he's got the tiny little babies. But this little baby is really, really tired, so this baby's gonna say, wah, wah. What's this baby gonna say? Wah, wah. All right, ready? He's got the tiny little babies. Wah, wah. In his hands, he's got the tiny little babies. Wah, wah. In his hands, he's got the tiny little babies. Wah, wah. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Good job. All right. Well, friends, we did some moving. We sang a song. And so now there is this little gorilla that would really like to come out and say good morning to you. Would you guys like to see Go-Go today? Yes. All right. We do have a count of three. Good morning, Go-Go. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, Go-Go. Come on, Go-Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Boys and girls, you want to say hi to Go-Go? Hi, Go-Go. Go-Go, you want to say hi to all your friends? Hi, friends. Hi, Grandma. Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's still not funny. Yes, uh, not funny at all. Uh, you know, all the gorillas in the world, I get the funny guy. All right, so, uh, Go-Go, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Mama. <clears throat> Don't you mean Grandma? I mean Pastor Dave. Pastor Dave. Uh, um, do you uh, do you want to uh, find out what we're learning today? Yeah. What are you learning yeah. today? Oh well. Uh, today we're learning about when the world was filled <laughs> with sin. What? Yeah. You guys, remember last week? How many of you were here last week? Can you raise your hand? Last? Yeah. Last week we heard about the very first sin. And this week we're going to learn when the whole world was filled with sin. Oh, not good. You mean, you mean when people do bad stuff? Yes, that's right. Because sin, those are all the bad things we do, we think, and we say. In fact, Gogo, the world was so bad and so filled with sin that God said he had to clean the world up. Oh, oh, oh. Did God use soap? Uh, no. Can somebody raise a hand and tell me, how did God clean the world up? Let's see. Uh, Emma, how did God clean the world up? By, by cleaning it with rain. With rain, that's right. A lot of rain, right. Good job. And it was a big, big what? Flood. Yeah. God sent a flood. Oh, ew, ew, ew. That's gross. Blood is gross. No, not not blood. What? Flood. Oh, a flood. Right, right, right. That makes more sense. Yeah, that, that does. Uh, uh, Pastor Dave? Uh, yes, thank you for calling Pastor Dave. What's a flood? Oh, uh, can somebody tell Gogo, what's a flood? What? What is that? Yeah, what is, what is a flood, Nicholas? What's a flood? What, what is it? What's in a flood? Lots of what? what? Lots of things? Yeah, there's lots of things. And what's the main thing, Caleb? What's the main water. thing? Water. There's lots and lots of water in a flood, Go-Go. Oh, like, like a big swimming pool. Uh, kind of. But can floods be really dangerous? Yes. Yeah. Maybe in the last couple weeks you guys have been hearing there's been floods in places like Houston, Texas. Have you seen some of those pictures? Yeah. The water is really, really big and people, they lose their homes. Floods can be really, really scary. Oh, oh. So why did God send that flood? Well, what did we say? Why did God send the big, big flood? What was he going to do? Yeah, Ryan Prater, what was he going to do with that big, big flood? He was... He was taking away all the sin. Yeah, he was cleaning the sin. He was going to clean the world. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Uh, what, Gogo? I need to take a bath and get clean. Well, yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. You're kind of a stinky gorilla. Hey! All right. All right. Well, uh, boys and girls, we're going to tell the story, but right now I better put Gogo away. 
Because he really needs a bath. Can we say bye to Go-Go? Bye to Go-Go. Bye, friends. Bye, Grandma. Oh, yeah. Have a good bath, Go-Go. All right. All right. Oh, poor little kitty. All right. No, no, no more mamas. Okay, get out of here. All right. Well, friends, we're going to talk about these questions. We have some questions. We're going to talk about what that means when God flooded the whole world with this flood. So right now, I want you guys to get in your groups with your teachers, and let's have a little bit of a small group chat. We talked about this real briefly, but maybe in your groups you talked about more. Why do you think God sent a huge flood on the earth? Why did he do that? Brock, why did God send a huge flood on the earth? Awesome. Perfect, buddy. He needed to wash away the sin. That's right. So he sent the big flood. So second question, God used the flood to clean the world. How does God clean us from our sin? Who do you think who thinks they have the answer? The flood cleaned the whole world, but how does God clean us? Because I wasn't there for the flood. All right, let's see. I'm looking for some nice and quiet. Someone nice and quiet. How did God clean us? By making floods. By making floods? All right, that was one big way. But then how does he clean on the inside? Because the flood cleaned on the outside. Oh, <gasps> yeah, he washed away our sins by having Jesus die on the cross. Yeah, that's right. And when Jesus died on the cross, then an Easter came back to life. That was like a flood inside our hearts, wasn't it? That went whoosh. Can you guys make that noise? Whoosh. Wash the sin. Yeah. Wow. Did God do that just for me? No. Just for pastors? All of us. Oh. Was it just for moms and dads? No. For all was it just for the kids? No. It was for everybody. Wow. God did that for you. And he did that for me. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Wow. Well, you guys did a great job, and thank you for sharing about how God cleans our sin. So I guess we are going to interrupt her for oh, oh, but I'm Nate Newsworthy, and I have another breaking news announcement. Once again, we have learned that Kid Tropolis supervillain and all-around bad guy, Dr. D. Septon, is once again here in Kid Tropolis. I repeat, Dr. D. Septon has been seen here in Kidtropolis. All citizens of Kidtropolis are encouraged to keep an eye out for Dr. D. Septon. If you see him, please call and contact the Kidtropolis authorities immediately. Remember, Dr. D. Septon <laughs> oh my, wow. Whoa. Well, there's two things you never know at Kidropolis. One, what kind of hat Nate Newsworthy is going to wear. And two, when that Dr. Deceptive is going to come back. You guys did a good job keeping an eye out for him, but keep watching, all right? We'll keep our eyes open for him. But right now, let's bring out our friend, that platypus himself. No! Platty the platypus to see our secret soup super, super, super secret for today. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. Let's just on the count of three say good morning, Platty. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, Platty. Uh, what? 
doing doing what correctly? He's not platy. He's super platy. That's right. Oh, that that's what you guys are trying to tell me. Okay. Yesterday, are you getting old? You have some kind of memory problem. He's super platy. We told you and told you. Uh, okay, I'll try to remember, sassy squirrel. Thank you. We have a way to help you remember. You have a way to help me remember? Really? What's that? Come closer. Uh, no, don't do it. Don't, okay. don't do it. Don't, what? don't do it. Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. what? Yes. No, boys and girls, I, I have to know. I, I need to remember this. And sometimes I have so much in my head. They have a way to help me remember. So what? where? Where is it? It's right. Like this. What? What? Slappy what? time. What? Hey! 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 Stop! Stop! Hey! 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 Okay! 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 Oh. Oh. oh, that's not gonna help me remember anything. Maybe not, but it's fun for us. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's bring out Super Platy and see if we can get today's super secret. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, Super Platy. It is I, Super Platy, the most famous loved platypus superhero in the world. Good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, Super Platy. Super Platy, will you please share our super secret for this week? I sure will. But Pastor Dave, you know what time it is? Uh, it's about It's theme song time! What? Theme song? Yeah. Woo! No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, that, that's not necessary. We don't need a theme song. We've had enough theme songs. We're here the Captain Underpants thing. You know? All right. Boys and girls, is it okay if I stop them today? No. All right. Stop. Just stop. I don't know. Okay, Platy. Just okay, Platy. Okay, hey, hey, stop slapping. All right, Platy. Hey. That's enough slapping, slapping. Oh, Sassy, stop. you're finished, will you please share the super secret? Sure thing! Take a look at the screen for this week's super secret! God sent Jesus to wash my sins away. Oh, that's a great one. Now remember, when I say super secret, you'll need to stand up and say today's super secret! Okay, we got it. Thank you, Super Play. Squirrels can be. I'm glad Sappy, Slappy, and Sassy are here at Kittricity. <laughs> well, boys and girls, it is time for our Bible story. So, who should we bring out? Our good friend, Bernie the Bear. Come on out, Bernie. Bernie, Super Bernie. Pastor Dave? Yeah! 
Well, uh, boys and girls, it was very catchy, wasn't it? But it kind of made me hungry for gummy bears. Oh, indeed, it was kind of interesting. I don't understand where the possum gets her ideas. But uh, speaking of bears, what do you call a bear stuck in the rain? A bear stuck in the rain. Uh, I, I, I don't know, Bernie. A grizzly bear! <laughs> oh, who writes this material? Wow! Uh, wow is right, Bernie. Wow is right. Uh, but enough with the bear jokes. Now, let's uh, let's go to today's Bible story. Let me get your Bible, Pastor Dave. Hold on. That would be great. Okay. All right. Perfect. Oh. Thank you, you Bernie. Bernie, where does our Bible story come from today? Today's Bible story comes from the book of Genesis. Boys and girls, do you still remember which part of the book of Genesis is in? Is it in the Old Testament or the New Testament? What do you guys think? Old Testament, show me one. New Testament, show me two. Genesis, what part of the Bible is it in? All what right, let's you? see those fingers up. If you have one, you're correct. Good job. The book of Genesis is in the Old Testament. Wow, great job, you guys. Well, Pastor Dave, I best be going. I hope you enjoyed today's Bible story, everyone. Bye, bye. Can we say bye, bye. 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 Talk to you later. Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Give a guy a theme song, he just never leaves. All right. Well, today we have a very famous Bible story. And somebody raise a hand and tell me, what is our Bible story about today? The big what? Let's see. Mike, what's it about today? The big flood. The big flood. How many of you guys have heard the story, Genesis, about the big flood? Yeah, I bet a lot of you have. All right. Well, we're going to hear that story today. So our story begins. Last week we talked about Adam and Eve. Eve. And do you remember last week how we learned how Adam and Eve disobeyed God? Do you remember that? That's right. And do you remember the name of the tree that they ate from? The tree of knowledge of good and evil. Good job. Well, because of what Adam and Eve did, sin entered the world. And Adam and Eve had to leave the beautiful Garden of Eden. After that, they lived for over 900 years. And you thought Grumpy Grampy was old. All right. And they had lots of kids. Two of the kids were named Cain and Abel. They also had a son named Seth. Seth. Uh, uh, thank you for that, Seth. Okay. All right. All right. Everybody wants their five seconds of fame. All right. After Adam and Eve died, there were more and more people on the earth. And boys and girls, here's the bad news. Unfortunately the people began to forget about God. And they began to do awful things to each other. Can we get a couple of people out here, please? We got some helpers with some... Oh. 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 Wow. Okay. Well, the Bible tells us that during this time, people became very wicked and were doing evil. The people would steal things from each other. Ah, the people were always hurting each other. They were always fighting and even trying to kill each other. The world was a very, very bad place. And no one felt safe. You're uh, bad. Seth, this might not be a good time for you to be here. Good luck. All right. Uh, all right. Well, you guys, uh, bad people, can leave. All right. Uh, don't don't hurt the Seth too much. All right. Well, boys and girls, do you think when God saw what was happening on the world with all the sin and the evil, how do you think God felt? He felt sad. And the Bible says that when God looked at all the evil on the earth, he was filled with pain. Why don't you guys touch your hearts and go, ah. That's how God felt. These are people he made. And everyone was doing all this evil they'd forgotten God. But there was still one man that loved God and wanted to live a life that honored him. Does anybody know the name of this man? His name was... Noah. 
Joseph. Noah. That's right. The man's name was Noah. Let's meet our Noah actor for today. Noah, come on out. Oh, there's Noah. All right. We get creative here. All right. The Bible tells us that Noah had a wife and three sons. His sons also had wives too. But for today, because we have a small cast, let's just meet Noah's wife. Would Noah's wife come out? Oh, all right. Very good. Uh, Noah and Noah's wife. The Bible doesn't tell us what her name was, but for today we'll just call her Mrs. Noah. After all, she does look a lot like her husband with the robe and <coughs> the beard. All right. Which is from a guy from Idaho, not that different. All right. Now, God spoke to Noah. He told Noah that he was going to destroy the evil on the earth. How was he going to do it? He was going to send a flood. He was going to have to clean it up. All the wickedness would be destroyed, but Noah and his family would be saved. God told Noah to build an ark. What's an ark? A big ship. Kim, what's an ark? It's a big boat. It's a big, big boat. That's right. God told Noah... <laughs> losing his hair. God told Noah that the ark was going to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Noah, you got that? Those measurements? All right. Now, what God was asking Noah, was that a pretty crazy request? Yeah. 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 Because you know what? In those days, it had never rained. And most likely, Noah and his family didn't live near the ocean. So why would you need a huge boat? Do you think he had ever built a boat before? Probably not. But what do you think? Do you think Noah said, no way, God, that's crazy? Or do you think he obeyed God? Which he one? Obeyed God. He obeyed God because he loved God. So. Okay, thank you for that. All right. All right. So Noah and his family began to build the ark. They got their tools and went to work. So they began to measure. They began to uh, use a saw and saw things, sawing down trees. And plastic. And hammering. <laughs> and hitting fingers. We don't know how long exactly it took Noah and his family to build the ark, but probably it was over 100 years. Is that a pretty long time? Yeah. 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 But do you think they had power tools? Yeah. No. no. They did this all by hand. And probably while Noah and his family were building the ark, his neighbors probably came by and made fun of him. Could, could we get Noah's neighbors? Oh no, those guys again. Oh boy. Those neighbors probably laughed at Noah. They probably laughed some more. Because they had never seen anyone building a boat. They thought Noah and his family were the dumbest people around. Then those guys left to go and find people to fight with. But what do you think? Do you think Noah and his family kept on working? Yep. Yeah. They kept on building the ark. That's right. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah. Who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Okay, thank you for that again. All right. Once the ark was finally built, God told Noah to bring into the ark how many of every animal? Do you remember? Two. Two. One male and one female. So one boy, one girl. So Noah and his family got two of every animal. Uh, do we have our animal actors? Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So Noah and his family brought all kinds of animals into the ark. They brought uh, cows. Okay. They brought horses. <laughs> They brought elephants. They brought kangaroos. They brought crocodiles. They brought snakes. Do you think it probably took a long time to get all those animals in the ark? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, they did. But no one his family did it. They loaded the ark with how many of every animal? Two. Two. Oh, Thank you once again. All right. Noah also put food for the animals and themselves in the ark. And after doing this, Noah and his family got into the ark. Uh, got cookies. All right. And once they got into the ark, what do you think started to happen? It began to rain. And the rain came down for 40 days and 40 nights. The earth became covered with water. Glad you got the umbrellas. Good. And all the wickedness, all the evil was destroyed. But what about Noah and his family? Were they safe on the ark? Yes. Absolutely. They were safe in the ark. Well. Thank you so much. All right. Well, boys and girls, did God take good care of Noah and his family? Yes, yes he did. And next week, we're going to hear the rest of the story about Noah. But for today, I want you to remember something very important. Just like God took good care of Noah and his family, God takes good care of you. He wants you to be safe from evil, just like Noah was safe. And this is why God sent his son Jesus to die for you. So that your sins would be what? Washed away and forgiven. Can we give our actors a big hand? Very good. All right. took care of him. All right. Thank you, Super Platty. All right. Well, boys and girls, before we finish for today and head to our classrooms, we need our power verse of the day from the Bible. So can we have the power verse of the day, please? Oh, Grampy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Well, Grumpy Grampy, did you have a good nap? I did until you woke me up. Well, I've got your power verse here. Would you like to choose one of the boys and girls to give it to? Well, put your hands down. Now, t whoever thinks I look like that crazy uh, Captain Underpants guy, raise your hands. I Kitty, kitty, kitty. There you go. All right. Very good. I come on up here, buddy. Now, would you guys please stay off my lawn? We're in the church. We're in the church. Can we say bye, Grumpy Grumpy? Bye, Grumpy Grumpy. All right, but let's see what we got. Here is our power verse for today. Let's see, we got it up on the screen too. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Alright, you get to keep that. Good job. Alright, boys and girls, can we fold our hands, bow our heads, and let's pray to God. Repeat after me, dear God. Dear God. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. Thank you for helping me learn from the Bible. Thank you for helping me learn from the Bible. Help me to always remember. Help me to always remember that Jesus washed away my sins. That Jesus washed away my sins. In his name we pray. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys may line up and then head to your classrooms. Please go with your teachers, and we'll see you next week for another Kentricity. Bye.